Good morning guys. Welcome to another vlog. First up, this is going to be like a twofer, so it is going to be a vlog because it's what I'm doing today, but it's also going to be like a um, grocery haul type deal where I'm going to tell you what I think you need in your keto kitchen when you're first starting. Because if you're like most people, you're going to be like, I, I'm going to start keto on Monday and then Monday comes around and you've pinned all of these recipes on Pinterest, right? But then you go and you look at them and you don't you don't have all the ingredients and then you end up starting next monday that happens a lot to people because these recipes look simple until you realize that you need almond flour or coconut flour or something like that so if you're just here for that part of the video i will put a timestamp in the description so you can skip over um me <laughs> essentially and get right to uh the keto stuff but for all you people who kind of like my vlogs and my quirkiness then hang around because uh, me and my girls, well, just one of my girlfriends because the other one can't come, are going to go get her nails done and just hang out and go to the grocery store together. Um, also, going to have a little mini rant here. I'm fairly new to YouTube. I've had a channel for a while, but I'm fairly new to putting up content and getting feedback. Um, Ken, my husband, obviously is... A huge YouTube channel and uh, I, didn't, I guess I always knew how like there's so many judgy negative people on YouTube I'm used to blogging and I get nothing but love nothing but love on my blog and so I, I know I probably need to toughen up a little bit but and it's fine it doesn't bother me that much I knew it was gonna be I knew it was coming but I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who only post positive comments realize that he and I are both just humans doing the best that we can and we make mistakes just like everyone does so for you guys that are only showing us love thank you so much you're my people and I just I just want you to know how much I appreciate the positive comments so I'm gonna start stop stop like babbling and um, show you what I'm wearing. So today's look is pretty casual. Let me turn on this other light. Um, just an army green t-shirt dress with some pleather like leggings and some knockoff Gucci loafers. Um, these were like $26. I'll link all of it in the description if you're interested. I'm pretty sure the dress is from Express and the leggings. Why am I so out of breath? I think the leggings are from Forever 21. So probably this whole outfit is under $50, I'm betting. Um, and then obviously my same necklace as I always wear, my Nisha necklace and then our wedding date necklace. And these earrings I just got from Buckle. They're pretty cute. All right, so I'm fixing to head out and meet my girlfriend and go eat lunch and just have a good girl's day. So yeah, bye baby. Bye. Bye, baby. He doesn't care. He's all about his food. Bye, Toto. Bye, baby. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hell on earth. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> Vlog.
vlogging in Walmart. It's going to be fun. There's going to be so many judgy people watching me, but it's okay. Okay. Very first thing that you need in your keto kitchen is heavy whipping cream. You need to make sure it doesn't have sugar in it because some of it does. This is the brand that we use. Land Focus. Nothing else here. <laughs> yeah. Cage free brown eggs. Do they have? Yeah. Free range. They have free range too. Much prettier yolk. Kerry Gold here. I don't think they do. Right okay, now. yeah, they do. Oh my god. Okay, so Kerry Gold's where it's at. Do not get this one. It has canola oil in it. Don't get it. Get this one. Or Linda Lakes is pretty good too. This is not butter. See, it says it's not butter. <laughs> this is with olive oil, so if you need it, it's not butter. Oh yeah, olive oil and sea salt, so, but it's soft, so it's spreadable. Sweet cream, olive oil and salt only. Wow. 10 grams of fat. Nice. Awesome. Cheese. All the cheese. All the cheese. Just eat it. Are these okay? Yeah, Have you looked at the back of them? Because yeah. these are my favorite. But one gram of sugar, one gram of carb. So, yeah, don't eat the whole thing, but you can have one or two. Cream cheese, all the cream cheese, not the low fat, just the regular original cream cheese. Careful with the shredded cheese. Apparently, it has added sugars. And some of them. So just check labels for the love of all that is holy. Just turn it around. Perfect for fat head dough. You need this to make yes. fat. This is what I buy. Get this. This and cream cheese and eggs and what else? Almond flour. Almond flour, which we're gonna get to here in a minute. Oh my god, that is a get that for me. Just put it in the buggy. It's gonna go bad. We're gonna Dang it! It's kind of cold outside. Powdered cellulose added to prevent caking. So that's that's the so, thing. So be careful with that. How many grams of carbs are in it though? Just one. Just one. So I think that's kind of. So okay, negative. this is like keto-ish. If you're a keto popo, then stay away from this. But if yeah. You're not. But if you're like a normal human being, this is probably okay for you. Yeah. Thin Pellegrino or Perrier, either one is fine. Ship to your house. I think it's not that expensive. Or Perrier. Usually they have Sin Pill at Walmart, but I don't see it. There's some flavor. Oh yeah. I don't think that this is keto. I don't know. I'm gonna go with no because it's got orange juice in it. <laughs> this is not keto, but sometimes I still drink it because. I'm a nurse. <laughs> Sausage with no added sugar, bacon with no added sugar. The first rule of keto is turn the package over. I think we get this one right. Well, we don't anymore because we slaughtered a hog, but that's what we used to get. That sounds really violent. We slaughtered a hog. This is the brand we used to. And I also have your flaxseed. Mm, flaxseed. Usually they have xanthan gum. What do you need xanthan gum for? Thick, it's just a thickener. Thickener, oh, okay. Cool. All the, stevia. All the stevia. Get stevia. I really like the liquid stevia. This one's just fine and it's from Walmart. I uh, like Truvia. A lot of people hate on Truvia, but I use it. Um, Splenda is not keto. This is the same thing. 
Stevia. Stevia. The brand doesn't matter. It's still the same thing. Just because it's in the raw doesn't make it better. Here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sugar in the raw. And I don't think Stevia in the raw really matters. <laughs> Just use Stevia. That's, I've never seen it in like in the raw. Does that mean it's a leaf? This large Walmart bag. Five bucks. That's yes. And get a sugar bowl. Yeah. Throw out all your canola and vegetable oil and get avocado oil and coconut oil and ghee and olive oil. Well, this you're gonna put coconut oil in it anyways for your bulletproof coffee get ghee with pink salt it's really really good okay some of these have sucralose in it yeah don't get this one some of these have sucralose in it but if that's what it takes to get you to stop drinking cokes i feel like it's okay keto is a process you can't just like you know stop doing all the things so don't let the keto Nazis tell you that this isn't okay when you're a beginner, because it's fine. What's I gonna get Himalayan pink salt. I like the fine grain because you can put it in a salt shaker instead of having a grinder. You can get it from Sam's Choice or you can get it from like the name brand, but they're the same salt. So, or you can get the grinder, doesn't matter. We better check the bag yeah. first. So these plain packs of tuna are really awesome to take to work with you. This one's just tuna. Does it have anything bad in it? It has added sugar. Does but it? It's 0.5 grams of added sugar. Okay, so that's a teeny, teeny, tiny amount. If, if it's gonna keep you from going to the vending machine, then worth it. Keep it in my bag. Worth it. Oh, okay, I can't put that back. Get added. in there. No, it does. It does? Yeah. No, white tuna, water, vegetable broth, salt, and whatever. That Not word a significant is. source of sugar. So, oh, that's always good to know and see. Okay, so this one's okay. That's just the tuna. But it may have bones in it, so if that's gonna freak you out, then <laughs> maybe go a different route. <laughs> that me. Okay, Madison cooks more than me. She says that tomato paste is in a bunch of recipes, and you can have it apparently because it's got. No added sugars. No. Yeah, no added sugars, just the sugar from the tomato. All right, this is the one that we use. It has no added sugars, just the sugars from the tomato, which is pretty much every sauce you're ever gonna have because tomatoes do have carbs in them. So just be careful, moderation. Filtered apple cider vinegar. Absolutely need this. Not this. Yeah, Not this. Well. You can cook with that or clean with that, but you need to drink that. Yes. Check out the video on Keterade also. <laughs> this stuff is life-saving. I put it on everything. If you make buffalo chicken dip with cream cheese and butter and a ranch pack seasoning and this stuff, you're welcome. And it's not that hot. It's like the perfect amount of hot. Coffee. You need all the coffee for your bulletproof coffee. You don't actually need bulletproof coffee. You just need coffee. And then we use these sugar-free sweeteners. That's okay. But not the chunky, it's too much. So, this is what Madison uses in her fat bombs. It's okay, apparently. That's not okay. <laughs> so, fruit isn't okay, but blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are all pretty well keto. You need strawberries to make strawberry cheesecake fat bombs. And you definitely want to make those because they will save your life. Those actually look really good. All the avocados. Okay, so that's our grocery haul. I'll probably add some more stuff when I get home because everyone's staring at us. So. Yeah, we're getting some <laughs> pretty dirty looks. <laughs> but hey, do it for the vlog. Okay, next we're gonna go eat. People are really staring at us.
day after I vlogged and I just wanted to come into my kitchen and show you a few things that I have in my kitchen that they don't have at Walmart or that I just kind of got pushed into not filming because there were so many people staring and like they weren't okay with us taking video of food apparently. So I'm just going to put a few more things in here as uh, they're the things that I think you really need. So. So, this mayonnaise is mine and Ken's favorite mayonnaise. It's from Primal Kitchen. Primal Kitchen. This is the Chipotle one. They also have just the normal uh, mayo. I prefer the Chipotle one, but they're both really good. I actually dip my... I'm so short. I don't know if I can read. <laughs> Pork rinds, which is the other thing that I was going to show you guys. Uh, pork rinds are your best friend ever, okay? Um, and if you pair them with this mayonnaise and dip them, it's like, it feels like you're cheating, even though it's keto. So you need this, and you need this, and you need cheese chips, which you can make or you can buy. these wisps these are really handy to keep in your work bag if you're um, on the go a lot if you are a nurse who doesn't always have time to cook or um, doesn't have time to sit down and really eat a full meal these are really good you can pull them out of your bag and just chomp on them there's 23 per serving and there's one gram of carbs per serving like yes all the wisps what else Okay, a lot of people are going to say this isn't really keto because almonds are high carb, but you just have to watch how many you eat. These are the Blue Diamond Sriracha. They have salt and vinegar. They have smokehouse. There's all kinds of flavors. This gets me through like a craving if I wanted Takis, say. Um, there's 5 grams of carbs per 28 nuts. It's not that bad. So you just have to really watch it. This does have added sugar in it. I'm not saying this is something you should do all the time, but if it's this or um, some Doritos, it's a pretty good option. And when you're first starting out, that's when you're really subject to wanting to eat the Doritos. So if you are a beginner, which most of the people who I think watch my channel are keto beginners because that's who I am. and. It wasn't that long ago that I was riding the struggle bus, and still some days I ride the struggle bus, so I get it. I'm definitely not the keto police. I don't like the keto police. If you're the keto police, you're not my people. If you are just starting, do your best. Just do better than you have been doing, and don't beat yourself up, because stress increases your cortisol level, and that makes you fat. Stress is bad for you. So, if you're a beginner who likes Doritos, this is a good replacement for those Doritos until you become fat adapted to the point where you're no longer craving crappy food. And that's all I have to say about that. Uh, this is called no salt and basically it's potassium that you can use as a supplement. You can put it in your water or you can um, drink Keterade, which if you watched mine and Ken's video, I'll link it in the description about how to make Keterade. This is one of the main ingredients. What else? That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, if you're new to keto, these are the things that will get you started. Um, I am just wrote a blog post. It will be live on Sunday. So um, I'll link my blog in the description if you were interested in reading. Some people don't want to read. Some people prefer reading over video. So I try to do a little bit of both. The blog post on Sunday will have some of my recipes in it. It's called uh, Keto uh, Not So Meal Plan Meal Plan <laughs> because it's not really a meal plan. It's just what Ken and I eat on a semi-daily basis. Some days, you know, we don't eat a lot because we are doing intermittent fasting and that's something that you as a new as a beginner can use as a tool because it makes eating keto easier because you just skip a meal You don't have to plan that meal Just drink coffee if you didn't have time to meal plan Fast that day just say well don't don't think of it as 
I don't have anything to eat. I have to eat something. Try to drink keto coffee. Try to replace that meal with a fat cup of happiness. Put all the happiness in there. Put the butter in there. Put the ghee in there. Put the MCT oil or the coconut oil in there and sip on that all day long. As long as you can. Don't go crazy in your first few weeks. But that definitely does help kick you off on a good start. And I think, in my experience, I got fat adapted much more quickly when I started initiating the keto coffee into my intermittent fasting. So, that's my two cents. And if you don't like it, you can kiss my keto. Okay? Love you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to. Um, I do videos on pretty much everything. Uh, fashion, wellness, health, keto, travel. I'm going to go be in London next week. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely give me a subscribe. Hit, a, hit the thumb and, you know, leave me a comment in the comment section. Please be positive, people. Being negative and judgmental is not good for anybody. I know I said that at the beginning of this video, but I just really... I don't know. I am not telling any of you guys what to do. I am just here to share my experience and and just share how I'm dealing with being keto in a non-keto world. So that's what I'm here for. Please do not feel like I'm telling you this is the way. There are tons of ways to do this diet. You can type in keto and 5,000 different people are going to tell you 5,000 different things. You have to learn to listen to your body. Do experiments. If you are doing bulletproof slash keto coffee and you're not losing weight, are you putting heavy cream in it? Maybe the heavy cream is stalling you. Take the heavy cream out for a week. See how it goes. If you're not using heavy cream, try heavy cream and see if it's going to help you. If you have stevia and you're stalled, take the stevia out. If you can't drink it without the stevia, I mean, that's better than drinking it with the Reese's Cup creamer that I used to put in my coffee. Just do better than you used to do. Please be nice to each other. Kindness is something that everyone needs, especially if they're trying to change their way of eating. We all just need a little love and support, okay? And with that, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Until next time, keto on, guys. Ha, <laughs> ha,